an asylum seeker who dodged deportation has pled guilty to the rape of a 15-year-old girl. Anaset Maella's previous attempt at deportation was blocked by cabin crew who refused to take off with the migrant on board. He arrived in the UK in 2004, having paid an agent to smuggle him from Africa, where he claimed he was in danger. The Congolese migrant used to protest outside detention centres and became well known among anti-deportation activists. He would often be pictured wearing a plaque reading, migrants are not criminals. However, Mayela himself could now face life in prison after admitting to the rape offence. Oxford Crown Court was warned of the attacker's dangerousness before his plea. The first attempt to deport Mayela failed after he was injured while being held at an isolation centre near Heathrow. The migrant was then held at a detention centre in Kidlington before a second deportation flight was scheduled for May 2005. However, Air France cabin crew blocked the deportation plans by stopping the flight from taking off. There were claims Mayela's hand had been broken after he had been handcuffed and had his legs bound by minders. Mayela's lawyers then argued removing him from the UK would go against his human rights and he was awarded leave to remain. Police investigated the handlers for alleged assault. Mayela campaigned to close down the Campsfield Detention Centre after his release, saying migrants were not criminals. As for the cabin crew who blocked his deportation, a close source to Home Secretary James Cleverly told The Sun that people with no knowledge of the circumstances of those for whom they suddenly decide to intervene can have appalling consequences for others, as in this case. My constituents are sure to be furious to discover that he has remained here on what appears to be a flimsy excuse before committing this horrific crime. Nicholas Dunning. GB News.